on YouTube. Uh, today, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to swap the exhaust cam gear housing, I guess you'd call it, on the Evo X 4B11T motor. Um, it's somewhat of a requirement depending on what um, aftermarket springs you get. Uh, because of the extra tension, uh, these are known to crack. So I ended up going with the Torque Solution uh, billet housing. And what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is disassembling the factory one because I have yet to find a video uh, that shows you how to do it. So I'm going to help you guys out. What you're going to need is uh torque socket set uh you need this size right here the 30 irp which is right here looks like this it's like a little star and that's for these bolts right back here and you guys can see it uh, let's see if we get the focus there you go Now I already moved, removed this spring. Normally this spring is pushed back behind this little latch, I guess you call it, or something. What you're going to need is, so that torque bit, size IRP30. So if you have that size or can just buy that size, it'll work. I'm using a 3 8 drive wrench with... Uh, you're going to need some Loctite for reassembly to make sure these bolts don't come back out. And I use the flathead to uh, kind of push this spring back and uh, get it over that. So let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, let's see what's inside. I already broke these bolts loose off camera. It's kind of hard to do while uh, filming at the same time. But we all shall find out what it looks like inside. Together! Yay! If this bolt comes out... Maybe I should have took them all out off camera. I'm crazy. Bolts. Mm. Let's go to the this lined up like this. Okay, guys, that's what the inside of the exhaust 
cam phaser looks like on the Evo X 4B11 motor. Now, when swapping over the guts or the inside of this cam phaser over to the Torque Solutions uh, billet housing, what you want to do is make sure you line it up. A uh, good way to do it. If you look closely right here, I already laid this over before. There's some oil on it, but there's, uh, you know, uh, a threaded hole where a bolt goes for the back housing. And then right next to it, there's a little hole. So if you can find that, which is right here on the factory cam phaser. All right, now make a note. Uh, this thing right here kind of protrudes off of it. And the back of the phaser housing actually was pushing this down. It's kind of spring loaded. So you want to get this piece in between the same spots on the billet housing. All right, so little hole with the threaded bolt hole next to it, and then the spring-loaded uh, mechanism there. It's gonna go in between this piece and this piece right here. There's a little hole there, I don't know what it's for, I don't know. If the other side has a hole on this one too, I didn't make a mental note or see it uh, before, but uh, maybe we'll take a quick peek to see what it looks like. Hopefully no, nothing falls out of this. All right, so that little hole is probably gonna be the little stick that comes out for the spring. So we're gonna see how we're gonna swap that over. Oh. Swapped over the uh, guts from the original factory housing to uh, the Torque Solution one. And just a quick comparison, uh, the thickness uh, compared to the factory one, you can clearly see much, much thicker all the way around. And now when installing the guts over, these plastic, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're almost like a, a pulley key, but uh, they're actually made out of plastic. And then it almost has a, something very similar to a uh, apexy seal. Um, so uh, make sure if you look very close, there's a little divot on each of the plastics. Make sure those are all facing uh, what would be the back cover when you torque this down. And uh, the plastic uh, apex seal, I guess, would uh, oh, it acts almost like a leaf spring. Uh, it sits in between uh, the plastic and the housing there and it pushes back. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Make sure you put all eight of them in the right position and to see there's almost a little cut on the plastic. They all have to be facing that way. The other side does not have that. So if it's flipped and you notice it doesn't have that little cut facing in, you know, that leaf spring is up against this aluminum housing or aluminum uh, piece here. I don't know what to call it. Uh, make sure it's the right way. Okay, make sure you guys line up this little round circle with the spring loaded thing that protrudes. I don't know if you can get that in the right angle right there. So you can see it on the back side. So line it up right there. And once you line it up, just line up the bolt holes and we're good to go. Okay guys. Make sure when you put these bolts in, you put some Loctite on them. Boom, some Loctite. And Torque Solution recommends that you torque these bolts down to 100 foot-pounds. So I recommend you guys use Loctite and torque it down to 100 foot-pounds because this is uh, sitting on your timing chain. So if these bolts back out, uh, from the amount of pressure the timing chain pulls on this uh, sprocket here, your motor's not going to be uh, too happy and your wall is not going to be too happy either. So make sure you torque these down to 100 foot pounds and you use some Loctite to prevent the bolts from backing back out on you.
This is a stopper I'm talking about. This is a spring. It sits in the center, right there. That little hook goes down there, and then you preload and pull the spring back with it hooked there, and there should be a stopper right there. Just so you know, on the uh, factory billet housing, don't do what I did. I thought this little stopper here unscrewed somehow, and I ended up breaking it off. Uh, it needs to be pressed out, and it needs to be pressed into the new one, uh, whichever, uh, uh, at least on the Torque Solutions um, billet housing, uh, it doesn't come with one. I don't know why they didn't take the time to machine uh, one, you know, just, you know, one piece on the, on the billet housing or include one. Um, but, the, yeah, this has to be pressed out, pressed off and um, press back in. So what I ended up having to do was um, I ended up uh, tapping and threading the hole on the Torque Solutions housing and um, threading a small stopper. Uh, so, yeah, don't do what I did. I can't necessarily show you the one I did uh, right now because it's already on my motor and the timing cover and everything is already all on there. You guys see right here. You guys want to see what this, what's going on with this bad boy right here? Soon I'll have it back in the car. I'll have a couple videos up about what was going on and what I did with this motor in relation to uh, the installation to the Torque Solution uh, billet exhaust cam phaser cover. I obviously installed a couple goodies in there, so stay tuned. Like, subscribe, comment, what do you guys think I may have. And should I make any... Um, specific videos on how to's in relation to the 4B11T motor uh, like maybe some valve springs uh, installation uh, or you know torquing the head down and everything like that just comment let me know I uh, will be uh, dropping this in the car the next couple days from when I post this video so uh, if you guys want to see something in particular, if you guys want to see the actual dropping in of the engine and all that other good stuff going on, uh, just let me know. Also got, that's the factory turbocharger right here. Little guy, not that bad, but I got a little surprise going on over here. Take a guess, what do you guys think?